All right, 5.50 on your Tuesday morning. Michelle joining us, letting us know everything trending, including a little, uh, some changes this year with not even Golden Globes, but Comic-Con. Yeah, you know, I think we forget sometimes that we are still in the middle of a pandemic, yeah. and then these events come up, and we're like, oh, they're not really yeah. happening yeah. Uh, in the same way that they were before. We saw the Golden Globes over the weekend. It was a little twist on normal, and then we're going to see the same thing uh, when it comes to the Comic-Con. So the annual geek convention, if you want to call it that, is going virtual again this year, but now organizers are announcing that it's affecting their budget. So it'll be cut from four days till three, uh, but Comic-Con International says it'll try for a small in-person three-day event in November. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of details on that yet, but I think that we're seeing that a lot too with just the ability to make a smaller, you know, something. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because there is a chance that people can be together, just yeah. not millions. And it, it is one of those things, too, where it's like you have to remember we are still in this mm -hmm. pandemic because you see those conventions and they're packed with people. Mm -hmm. So there's really no way they could have try to replicate that. Well, and there's that. a lot of planning, obviously, that yeah. goes into it. You know, we were talking about the concerts at Wrigley Field that were just announced yeah. that are supposed to happen in August, but at the Cross same fingers, time, you know, Wrigley Field already exists. I mean, there's still planning involved, but this is like a bigger, yeah. you right. know, Wrigley Field's always there. Right. <laughs> you don't have to reset up the venue. Uh, also this morning, another reason to call Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. You know, I didn't realize that when she was on the Golden Globes on Sunday that she did not announce she was pregnant. Not that I knew she was pregnant, but what she was wearing, I don't know if you saw, this is the announcement she made on Instagram Aww. saying that she's having another baby, but the dress she wore on the Golden Globes was looked maternity. Uh, so I was okay. like, oh, she's pregnant. And then the next day it's like, oh, she's pregnant. She is pregnant. <laughs> oh, she okay, is. so her daughters are nine and four. That's she posted so this cute. on social media saying, here we go again. Also this morning, a birthday celebration for a method man. He is 50 and Coldplay frontman Chris Martin is 44. I thought he was older than that. <laughs> We love Coldplay. All right, thanks so much, Michelle. Speak yeah. for yourself. I know. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm sorry, I don't oh, love Coldplay. Man. Okay, it's fine. I'll be alone here. All right, time now. Five fifty-two. More dairy-free options, though, coming to Starbucks, a big addition. You'll see uh, next time you're making an order. We want to give you a live look outside your business brief and our next chance for a warm-up. It's all next.